Hey, this is Stephen from Legit PC, and today we're going to go through the Valley Benchmark powered by Unigen. All right, so this is Unigen's product. You can go to their website and download this product for free if you want the basic edition, or you could get the um, advanced edition or the paid version to get even more possibilities for looping and, you know, so you could tweak your GPU and stuff like that. But we'll go over that later. So um, this is the opening, this is the opening uh, menu. And here we have different language settings, uh, different presets, you know, Extreme HD. These are different presets that are set when the product comes out um, that you could just click and go. Okay, so the APIs that we have to choose from, DirectX 11, DirectX 9, OpenGL. And, of course, this one, you have to have that um, API on your card and in your operating system in order to run this, which it should be perfectly fine because when you install it, it will install the DirectX correctly. So here you have different uh, quality presets. So you just selected Ultra for, you know, it's probably the one you're going to go with. Different stereo 3D settings, you know, pretty much um, has every setting available for any monitor setup you might want to run. Or even maybe, um, maybe even a TV setup rather than a monitor setup. But mine does not have that capability in my monitor, so I'm going to have that disabled. Monitors, I'm um, running a single monitor, but you can have it in surround. Uh, you can have it on, um, you could have walls of monitors, which you could set here. But like I said, mine's single. Here's anti-aliasing presets. You can set it all the way to 8x. But right now I'm running on 2x, and I have it on full screen. And you could have a lot of different resolutions to pick from. Even if they're not native for your screen, you can, you can test them. Um, so you can see what your screen, what a screen like that would run at, or to do a stress test. So you, when you're tweaking your uh, GPU, you could run it in a larger resolution, just to get you know every frame that you can out of out of your graphics card. So um, right now I have a 1920 by 1080 native screen, so I'm going to pick that just for the sake of recording, because that's what my capture card records in, records in 1920 by 1080. Uh, but you could set it in some larger resolutions, which makes pixels smaller. You got uh, 2560 by 1440, you got 2560 by 1600, and you got 2048 by 1538. And of course, you have a little bit smaller than uh, 1980 by 1980, 1920 by 1080. You know, you hear this is a little bigger. But yeah, you can pretty much pick whatever you want, or you could just set it. If you don't know what your native resolution is, you could just set it to system, and it'll automatically use your system presets. But in this case, I know what mine is, so I'm just going to select it here. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the menu options. And of course, all these menu options you could change inside of the engine while it's running. There will be options for that on the top. But I will be going over that when we go into the benchmark, which will be the second portion of this video. All right, we're going to run uh, the benchmark right now, and uh, I'll let you guys watch it and show you all the options that you could do inside of the uh, uh, when the benchmark starts. One of the interesting things that I found of course, I got my uh, Precision X up here, so you guys could look at my temps and uh, percentage of GPU usage, fan speed, and frame rate. So here, I noticed that for controls, that maybe you could use this benchmark and run it real time, and jump in as a character like you would with CryEngine or the UDK. And uh, these are the other options you have in game. You could change your wireframe and stuff like that. Check the credits. And that's under the settings. This is the settings tab. You have different. Uh... Ah, well, there you go. Okay, well, that's that's what uh, the controls are for right there. It's for the walking, as you see. I'm about characters hide off the ground, walking around, and I have the keys down here in the corner. Jumping key, move left, right, straight, backwards. You have free cam, which I'm using the mouse click, and then you could move your mouse around and look around the world, which is pretty nice. Getting 70 frames, everything's uh not well. It's not an ultra. There you go. That's ultra. 
Oops. Well, anyways, we're going to go into the benchmarking portion. So this is a benchmark. As you see on the bottom right, 16 frame, uh, there's 16 different scenes to test, and it's going to loop through. Oh, sorry, 18 different scenes, and you can and it loops through all 18. You can't pick which of the 18 you want to loop in the free version. You have to go all the way through. But uh, yeah, I'll basically benchmark it, and then you can see up on the top right my frequencies and uh, the temperatures, as well as my frames per second and which graphics card I'm running, which is uh, the GTX EVGA Signature 2 Edition 660 Ti. Uh, yeah, and then I'll just let you guys uh, watch it, and then uh, we'll continue after it's the 18 scenes are finished. So I'm back, and uh, from this from this benchmark here, you could really see the power that the Unigen brings to the table. And of course, uh, if you guys don't know, this this engine's completely licensable. You could make games off this engine, or do cinema, or anything like that. And also, they already have uh, Unigen released a game called Oil Rush, which you could also play to see the Unigen. I don't believe it's used running this version; it's running a previous version. But you can get it for like uh, ten dollars off Steam or anything like that if you want to check out more about Uni Engine. If you want to use it as a benchmark, they have uh, this one, which is the Valley Uni Engine Valley. They also have uh, Haven, which you could run Tessellation on. This one, I don't see any te Tessellation options on this particular benchmark, which you know I could see why, because it, because it's a pretty massive landscape that it would probably not very many systems would be able to last through it. Um, so if you guys want to run Tessellation, I would suggest getting the Haven uh, benchmark and running that one. Uh, that's also a good one. I'll probably run through that one as well and show you guys that one. Uh, another one that just came out is the new 3D Mark Vantage. I'm uh, not uh, the th new 3D Mark Vantage uh, engine, not engine, but um, the 3D Mark benchmark called 3D Mark, which you could get the free version, which has got. Um, benchmarks for tablets and stuff like that but I'll go over that in a later video when I review through that so uh, let's review what we got so my max F my FPS is 58 which is an average uh, my minimum FPS is 23 and maximum is 113 when it kinda of brings it back a little bit and then everything's kind of off in the distance yeah, and down here you can see uh, all my render settings and you know the CPU that I'm using operating systems and stuff like that. You can see over here the top left hand corner I didn't really go over 68, 68 degrees Celsius, 66 and um, so I would really suggest running something over the top of this, some sort of on-screen display like here I'm using the Precision X that will really give you the temperature and your fan speed and things like that so you could really get to um, experience more out of the benchmarks because Unigen is a great benchmark but it will not tell you that kind of information you can get from Precision X so uh, yeah I mean that's uh, basically it for this one and then after you're done you just hit exit 
um, and then it'll show you the credits here and it'll bring you back to that main screen so yeah that's pretty much uh, uh, the Unigen Valley benchmark and it's just came out maybe six days ago uh, getting it to you guys first and uh, if you like more if you like my benchmark videos and want to see other gameplay videos or PC videos subscribe and uh, you'll get all those everything PC from the legit PC alright guys this is Steven uh, thank you for watching see you later